Go ahead and open up TrueSpace. For this part, we'll be setting up our workspace for this project. We're not making any radical settings changes for this course, but it's important to know that if you ever need to get TrueSpace back to factory defaults, you'll find just above the icon that creates a new scene, the Reset to Default Context icon. This will remove all changes that you've made to the user interface and restore the program back to its defaults. Let's take a look at the Library tab on the Stack View. The Stack View is the long panel on the right hand side that contains the Library, Panels, and Settings tabs. If the Library tab isn't the current active tab in the Stack View, then click on it to bring it to the front. The title bar for an open library has some features built into it to help you manage its use of screen real estate. The simplest of these being clicking on the title bar to minimize and expand the library stack view. Also notice the 1D 2D drop down menu. By changing this setting you can change the way items in the library are viewed. 1D being a text list, 2D being icons only, and 1 plus 2 being icons and text. When in 2D mode, the displayed icon size can be changed by right-clicking in an empty space in the library and mousing down to Thumbnails in the pop-up menu to select the new size. The icons can be returned to their original size by reopening the pop-up menu, selecting Thumbnails, and then Default. The library stack is the main interface for loading and saving files in TrueSpace 751 You'll notice the right-click pop-up menu is context-sensitive and brings up different menus depending on whether you right-click in an empty space within the library or on an object within the library. We'll cover that more as we get a little further into the course. For now, let's go ahead and close all the default TrueSpace libraries since we're going to be using the libraries that I've provided with the course. Next, let's open the library browser by clicking on its icon. This brings up the library browser window. To access the library folders included with the course materials, we are going to need to create a new library place. To do that, right click on the topmost entry in the library browser and select Create New Library Place. This brings up the Create Library Place dialog. Type in the name text field what you would like the library place to be called in the library browser. In our case, let's call it Organics Course. Then click the Browse button to browse to the directory where you extracted the course material. Select the Libraries folder and click OK. Now click OK again to create the new library place. You'll see that the Organics course now appears as a new library place and that it contains folders for each of the chapters of the course. Go ahead and double click on the Chapter 1 library. You can see that it's now added to the Library tab in the Stack View. It's useful to note that any library in the library browser list can be added to the library tab in the stack view by double clicking on it. If you look through the course folders on your hard drive using Windows Explorer, you'll notice that the items you see in the open library are the same ones that you see when browsing the same named folder on your hard drive. This brings up some important points. One of the major changes with 7.51 is that the libraries are no longer type specific. They are mainly just graphical representations of physical directories on your hard drive. You can place any type of object or file in any library folder. This is very useful when organizing a variety of different files by project instead of file type. Another added benefit with this method is that your files are not hostage to the software when stored in a library. The main limitation of the current library system is that each library place can only reference its immediate level of subdirectories but there is nothing to stop you from making any directory a new library place, including an existing library directory. Go ahead and close the library browser since we're done with that for now. I'll go ahead and pause here. We'll continue on in the next section.